Hi guys! So welcome back to our channel. And for today's video, I'm going to vlog tayo and papakita ko sa inyo how to use this One Touch Select Simple Glucose Meter. So this is used to measure your blood sugar either fasting or after meals. So, pakita ko muna sa inyo yung mga laman ng box. Pagbukas niyo ng box, ito yung uh, laman niya. So, meron siyang kit. So, buksan natin. So, ito yung kasama ng kit. So, meron tayong dito ang reference card. So, makikita niyo dyan yung um, low, high, yung mga measurement. And then, we have, of course, yung meter natin. Um, one touch select symbol. So, ayan siya. Ito yung screen. Dito nyo makikita yung um, kung anong result. Ayan. And then, we have the Lansing device. So, this this is the one-touch Lansing device. So, ito yung basically yung needle. So, ito yung cap. Yung cover. So, tinatanggal yan. Lalagay yung needle dito or your lancet. And then, ito yung cocking device. So, you pull it down. And then, you press. There you go. Pag pinas nyo na yan, mag-hit na yung needle sa fingers nyo. So, ayan. Lansing device. So, ito yung meter. Ito yung lansing device. So, this is one touch to lift test strips. So, ayan siya sa loob. Pag binili nyo ito, 25 pieces siya. So, ito. Ito yung kailangan nyo bilhin every now and then pag naubos na. So, nabili ko to sa Watson. So, meron din siya sa Mercury or any drugstore. So, this is like 600 pesos. And then, this is the Lancet. One Touch Ultra Soft Lancet. So, 25 Lancets. Siya. So, I think it's one here. Ayan. May cup siya, of course, para protection. So, pag gagamitin nyo na, tatanggalin na, i-twist nyo lang yung cup. Okay? So, pinapakita ko lang muna yung mga loob ng box and then later, I'll show you how to use it. So, ito yun siya. 25 pieces, mga 100 plus, 180 something, pag binili nyo to. Okay? And then, bumili din ako ng mga alcohol swab. So, this is yung after nyo mag-puncture. Yun na, i-alcohol swab nyo siya para of course, to prevent uh, infection. Okay? So, ayan. So, of course, um, bago tayo mag-start mag- um, mag-chat ng blood sugar natin. Um, we have to make sure that we wash our hands with warm, soapy water. So, um, diretso sa faucet, wash your hand, get a soap, wash it properly. Make sure na like 20 seconds and yun yung advisable. And then, dry it with um, a lint-free tissue. Yung uh, kitchen towel is okay or a cloth. Basta yung hindi mag- mag ano, yung parang tissue na malambot pag yung ganun. So once you're done, um, we will start now assembling the the lans lancet or the lancing device first. So we open, uh, we remove the cap, okay? And then you get one lancet from the box. Yes. And then you just simply push it inside. Like, dito, dito sa white na to. Ikita niyo ba? So, ayan. Ayan. Yung white na yan. Diyan yung ilalagay yung lancet. So, huwag niyo muna tanggalin pala to. Huwag niyo muna tanggalin yung cover. Itong circle. So, put niyo na siya. Just put it in. Downwards. Yan. Okay. So, once nababa niyo na, that's the time that you will twist this. Para ma-prevent natin matusok tayo or ma-contaminate yung needle. Okay guys, so once you're done um, putting in the needle or the lancet inside the lancing device, you just simply cock it here. And you can adjust the ano, the needle too. So kung gaano ka deep yung gusto nyo. So ayun know, may mga numbers yan. Sorry. So yeah, may mga numbers dyan. You can twist it. So, the higher the number, the deeper the puncture. So, 9 is the deepest. So, ako, nakaset lang yun to 3. Yan. Yan lang yung puncture ko. So, kayo na bahala, guys, kung gano'ng ka-deep yung gusto. So, okay na sa akin yan. So, ayan. So, pag naka-ready na yan, just simply cock it. 
and then punch it once you're ready. So before you pa siya, before kayo kumuha ng blood, you're ready niyo na yung lancet or yung test strips. So kuha kayo ng isa, isang test strips. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, so ayan. Ganito yung tura ng test strip. Itong one touch. And then itong may line, yan yung ipapasok niyo sa meter. So, pag pinasok na yan, automatic na mag-on tong meter. Wala siyang buttons. So, automatic on like that. Yan. So, lalabas yung last blood test nyo, result. And then, pag lumabas na yan, ibig sabihin ready na siyang ilagay yung blood dito. So, papakita ko. So, once na lumabas na yung icon na to, ma-puncture na tayo. So, usually, dito ako sa tip ng finger. Yan, iniisa-isa ko yan. Kung anong gusto for today, dito tayo sa ring finger. So, make sure na i-massage nyo yan. Yung hands mo. From here to here. Para ma-circulate yung blood. Okay? So, once you're ready, i-puncture na natin sa softest part. Ayan. So, make sure guys na perfect bubble shape yung blood nyo ha. Hindi ko napapakita. So, kunin nyo na yung meters. I-pidip nyo na dito. Okay. So, I'm done. Ito yung uh, tip ko sa pagkuha ng blood. Kunin ko lang yung alcohol swab. Isa-swab ko lang yung hands ko. So, ganito yung perfect na pagkuha ng blood. Kasi yung mga test strips, this one, itong test strip, sorry. Ano siya, uh, may capillary action. So, capillary action means um, hinihigop niya yung blood dun sa blood na, na puncture site mo. So, hindi nyo na siya actually kailang ipatak. Hindi nyo kailangan guys ipatak dito. Hindi nyo kailangan ganunin. Idikit nyo lang yung tip ng bubble ng blood. Then, dito sa tip ng test strip and isasak niya na mag-isa. So, may capillary action siya. So, isasak niya na yun. So, usually, uh, kaya nagkakamali tayo ng result, like minsan high, minsan super low naman is uh, nadidikit natin yung test strip sa skin natin or sa ibang part. So, nakakontaminate siya. Ang um, perfect way is for you to just put it near the bubble or the blood and then the test strip will suck it in kasi nga capillary action siya so isuck niyo na mag-isa so after mo nun, after ma-suck ng blood ilalapag niyo na siya sa table flat surface and then wait for a few seconds may result na siya agad and then get the swab iswab niyo na agad yung puncture site niyo para hindi magpasukan ng bacteria Okay guys, so after you're done uh, with yung sa pag-blood test nyo, so ililigpit nyo na, diba? So, um, paano tanggalin yung lancet? So, ito lang, itatanggalin nyo lang ulit yung cup, yung holder. Tapos, itong circle na to, itatabi nyo to ha, kasi gagamitin nyo to, ipapasok nyo ulit dito. Ganyan. Co-cover nyo siya ulit. And then, we can pull it off after. Yan. Twist nyo lang and pull it off. Dahan-dahan lang para hindi masira. So, ayan na siya. And then, ready for disposal na siya. Lalagay nyo na siya dito. And then, yeah, dispose na. Then, now, put it back. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm doing, I'm usually doing uh, blood just uh, fasting. So, pagkagising. And then, after meals. So, two hours after meals. Ayun lang. So guys, uh, please subscribe to my channel and please click on the like button kung gusto nyo itong video na to. Please tap on the bell button for a notification if meron na akong new videos. And also comment down below guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo guys. And um, uh, yun lang. Thank you. Bye!